I'm going to be doing, um, sounded like you guys wanted to see this, this ginormous art supply and coloring haul for February. It is a bit silly and ridiculous. Uh, no judgments, please. So, yep, this was a lot. The first thing I'm going to show you as I move all this all the way. So I have this all over my desk, even on the sides. It doesn't even fit in the frame. That's how much stuff we got. So I'm going to go pretty quickly. But the first thing I'm going to show you as I'm moving this out, out of the way so I can start is the tiered tray that I got at Costco. I love it. I did show it a couple of days ago in one of my videos and I absolutely love it. So that um, will be fun to keep adding to it because I was like, what am I going to put on it? But I'm finding things to put on it. And it does spin around too. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Alrighty. So I think I'm going to do the non-coloring supplies first, which all of this could be used in coloring. It's just why I ordered it. So I got into Nero graphic art. So that is this type of art where you um, draw some lines and then you, um, I think the idea is that there's no hard corners. There's no like right angles. Um, so that was what it looks like before you colored in. Now I'm going to zoom in a little more before you colored in. So I wanted a couple notebooks to put all of that art in. So I got these two Canson notebooks. This one, the mixed media one, tends to work better because the drawing one doesn't hold uh, alcohol markers very well. So, <clears throat> and these are smaller. These are five and a half by eight and a half inches. And then I did get some circle stencils from Amazon to use. Let's see. Yeah, like that page I have circles there that I used this stencil for. So yeah, I got those. So I'm blaming a couple YouTubers for my shopping problem this month. <laughs> this one, her name is, and I'll link their channels below if you want to um, watch it's at your own risk. This is her channel. Uh, she is an artist and she actually sells her own stencils and masks on joggles.com. So I ordered some more of her stencils. I have ordered from them previously, her stencils. I use these in jelly printing. <clears throat> so really, really love these. This is like Gustav Klimt. And her channel is so fun to see her jelly printing. She does collaging with them, I think, them most of the time. And then I also ordered from Joggles, uh, Dina Wakely Media Bulk Blank Tissue Paper that you can use in your jelly printing and collaging. And then also for jelly printing, I ordered some rice paper from Amazon. No idea the brand. Again, I will link stuff below. And then I just ordered normal tissue paper to use in uh, jelly printing. All right. The other item that's kind of not coloring related is the 60... Uh, Arteza, Arteza acrylic colors and I think I'm going to take them out of their their little tubes and it just annoys me I can't get them out very well so I think I'm going to take them out of these plastic tins and just dump them in here but yeah there's 60 different colors I have played with them I like them <clears throat> and I ordered these from Amazon. I've heard to check both Amazon and their website because sometimes one is a lot cheaper than the other. So I'll do pens, gel pens last. Let's do the pencils. So I ordered the uh, Castle Arts pastel tint um, set so it's pastel pencils and it does come in this nice case zipper case which is nice and I'll have to put them in a case if that's the way I want to go so the rest of this stuff is all because of colorfully optimistics YouTube channel <laughs> I blame her uh, I started watching her channels and just binging them and 
I started getting back into coloring. Uh, a friend gave me a coloring book, a Prince coloring book. I'm like, you know what? I miss coloring. So I am getting back into it and I was into it years and years ago and stopped it and now I want to get back into it. So all of this is because of coloring. So I ordered a couple Black Widow sets, the Monarch and the Scorpion, is that what that is? <laughs> I'll probably take them out of these tins and put them into a pencil case, but I like the looks of these. These are wax pencils. And then the Monarch ones. Again, wax. These are 48 and these are 24. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> I just really like the looks of the black with the colors at the end. And then I got this pencil case. I can't remember the brand. Again, I'll link it below. I think even Colorfully Optimistic had this one. It has pumpkins on it. It's so cute, little mice. So I just put my, I have some Prismacolors. I bought them years ago, so they are in rough shape. They all need to be sharpened. It's not a very big set. Probably is that 24? So I just put those in there because they were just loosely hanging out in my craft room. So I need to, can add more stuff to this. And this one does, it will hold three in each slot, but for right now I just have two in each slot. I'll probably mix that up later. This is super cute does have just one zipper. I've, I've seen people that want have like multiple zippers. I don't like that. I like one zipper. So and then I did get the Faber-Castell 24 Prolly Chromos. <laughs> These are I don't know what these are. Are these wax or oil? I don't know. I'm definitely not a color expert. Go to Colorfully Optimistic if you want someone that's well versed in coloring. <laughs> and someone here on my channel probably knows more, a lot more than I do. So, and then I just got the regular Crayola set. I can't remember how many this is. Might be 48 maybe. Just to have a cheaper set. I hate these plastic things. Yeah, maybe I'll put this one in. I'll put the Crayolas in with the Prismacolor. <laughs> okay, so that's it for pencils. I did get some Copic markers and at Blick, just like open stock markers. So I'm starting to collect those. Well, I started a long time ago, but re-upping that. And also at Blick, I got this um, Prismacolor blending pencil. Haven't used it yet. Actually, I'm gonna do the pens now. And I say pens weird, and my family makes fun of me because I say it like P-I-N. I get my I's and my E's mixed up, so don't make fun of me, please. Okay. I also got these, just regular writing pens. The Uniball Air. And then, the, I love this one. The Energel Liquid Gel Ink Pentel. Love that. And this is, uh, I think it's, it's .7. Just got those for regular writing and journaling stuff. So I got two sets of Arteza gel pens. One's metallic, one's regular. I don't love them. Um, I actually couldn't get even one to write the other day, so I'm not sure if anyone else has had issues with these, but okay, focus, 
focus. Whoa. So I'm not sure if anyone else has had issues with them, but yeah, so they are a gel pen. I don't know what tip they have on them. But yeah, one of them I was like, I can't even get it to write. So, but I'll still keep playing with them and see if I can get them to work. Um, and I used another one actually. I'm using one right now in one of my uh, mandala coloring things and it's working. So it's not all of them, it's just one of them. But that kind of sets off your whole mood about them. And then these are some, I think these are Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pens and Sakura gel pens. Having a hard time seeing it. So love those, love the Sakura ones, really fun. And then here, probably my favorite, are the <clears throat> Jelly Roll. And I got a regular set and a metallic set. I might have gotten one of these sets at Michael's. And then also the Sparkle Pop, which, hello, they are so fun. I will show you one of my mandalas I started with these. They are so glittery, so sparkly, so much fun. I love those. Okay, now for the coloring book. So I'll show you the mandala one first. I showed this in a previous video. I'm making this video really quick, guys. <laughs> and so those are the... Two of those colors are the Sparkle Pops. The green one is the Arteza, Teza. And then the blue and the pink are the Sparkle Pops. It's so sparkly. Can you see that? So I got this one, 50 Stylish Mandalas. It has some great mandalas. I've done one... I want to say these came just last week. There it is. So love that book. These are only $4.99. I'm gonna order uh, the other, the nighttime one it's called, something like that. So I'm gonna order that one. So the next one I got Steampunk Steampunk Sweethearts by Sherry Baldy. I just thought they were super cute. I love little cartoonish drawings. Let's zoom me back in a little bit. Yeah, it's just lots of clocks because of steampunk. Just adorable. These would be fun with markers, I think. Super cute. And then this was uh, Colorfully Optimistic's uh, favorite coloring book, recent co favorite coloring book, and I found it, there was one of them at Barnes & Noble. So I was like, well, I'm gonna get it. It's her favorite. <laughs> so I zoom back out a little bit. So it's called Flowerscape uh, by Maggie and Terrios. I like how it has just a little one so you could even just practice what you're going to do over here. It has some two page spreads. I think I did look for it at Amazon and it was like 30 bucks so I didn't get it and then I went to Barnes and Noble and it was there and it was only like uh, $17.99 so plus I have a discount at Barnes and Noble um, just for being a member so much better to get it at Barnes & Noble if you can. And then this one I also picked up at Barnes & Noble, Pop Manga Coloring Book. Didn't know anything about it, didn't hear about it from someone else, so I just thought it was cute. Just some fun, cool, designs. And then I got this one at 
uh, Barnes and Noble. So National Geographic Magnificent Animals, illustrated by Harula Kaya. I did do one in here, I think. Yeah, that one I did. It's not great. Not I didn't do any shading. I don't really know how to do that yet, or you know, mixing. And I used watercolors in the background. So it was fun. Next one is this adult coloring book pinup models by Demita Victoria. This is one I talked about on uh, a previous video where I, I don't know how to do skin so I'm trying to learn on YouTube how to do skin but I did one and it was horrible. <laughs> I had I ripped it out so you'll see a page in here that's ripped out and I threw it away and I started another one and I'll show you. So it's just you know like old style pinup looks which I love. I love pinup style. Um, we actually did I've walked in the Susan G. Komen three-day breast cancer walk three times, I think. Long, long time ago. And I uh, did, to fundraise, we did a pinup calendar and sold it. And, like, we had a party where we autographed it, you know, like we were actual pinup models. It was super fun. This was a long time ago and probably 50 pounds ago. <laughs> but it was fun. Love that style. So this is the one I tried. I'm trying to do skin. I don't know, now I feel like she's so light because I'm so afraid to go heavy handed. But, so I started that one. I'm afraid to do hair, but you know what? You gotta start somewhere, right? So, love that. Um, and that was Amazon as well. I think all these were Amazon. This is so cute. Adorable characters. Cuteness Overload, Grayscale Coloring Book 6 by Daria Kirkoskoy. Kar, Kar, nope, sorry. <laughs> I, nobody can say my last name either. It's okay. Oh, they're just so cute. I mean, seriously. Oh. Like, I just don't even want to color it because I don't want to ruin the art. I should probably copy them and then do it. Like, one of these, I want, I want it as a tattoo. Like, could you take this into it? Like, that one. Come on. She's shopping, eating ice cream, she has glasses on, and it's raining. Oh my gosh. Like, ugh. that reminds me of, um, what's it, Daenerys? Game of Thrones? <laughs> I just can't. Adorable. And this one, um, I love witches. You know, like witches, drawings of witches, that sort of thing. So I ordered this one, um, Coco Wyo Witches Book. I have not done anything in here yet. I guess it's more Halloween themed, but pick that one up. And there's two more. The last two are both Hannah Carlson. Uh, she's new to me. Everything, all of this is new to me because I'm back into coloring and haven't been for 15 years. So, the first one is Tales from the Forest Kingdom. <clears throat> These are such beautiful books. Look at that. I mean, again, I'm afraid to color it because I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> not what it's about, right? <clears throat> I can always order another book too. You know what? I think that's what I'd rather do. I'd rather color in the book and then order another book if I really mess it up and want another one. I just saw someone do that one. And then I'm just not going to throw that one on the ground. <laughs> the Daydreams one. Again, gorgeous hardcover. Oh, I love owls. Just gorgeous. 
Well, that's fun. So you can draw, it says draw your own patterns on this beetle. <clears throat> so you could do your own kind of mandala style in there. <clears throat> or whatever you want. Love it. I find <clears throat> coloring so meditative. It's just, I don't think about anything else. You're just thinking about staying in the lines and what colors you're using. So I absolutely love it. So there you go. That is all I have. I think I probably will post this the same day I'm filming, which is Tuesday, March 1st, because yesterday's video I mentioned this. So I'm just going to post it, even though that'll be two videos today. That's okay. <clears throat> all right. Thanks for watching. I'm glad that didn't take me too long, but thanks for watching and have a great day, guys.